What's up, guys? CLX James, and today's video is going to be in response to the very, very salty Chun Li player that I ran into the other day uh, concerning three points of his. Uh, the first of which, we'll go ahead and get knocked out right now, that uh, the majority of the opponents that he goes up against, or like he called me out, is some sort of lag switch switcher, lag cheater, lag maker, standby user, whatever. Uh, no, I don't do that. I don't need to do that. Uh, everyone hates lag. I hate lag. No one likes playing in lag. Uh, and even if you check the fight yourself, you can see that... I did quite a few things that I would not do if the connection was solid. I.e., I think a couple times when I got next to you, all I did was jab, 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 back off. Like, sure, whatever. I think we all need to understand that the Steam netcode sucks, and there's not a lot we can do about it, and sometimes, even if the internet connection is good, the netcode itself just isn't where we want it to be. Uh, the second point, that recording during your game somehow lags your computer so much that it uh, disrupts your game, it makes your game run slower, it slows down the internet connection. Uh, well, I can tell you that it doesn't. I use OBS. On average, it takes about a fifth of my processing power, right? Sometimes it goes up to about 30%, but on average, right? And that's because I record at 5,000 kilobits per second, which is why I get 1080p on my videos, because uh, I'm I don't know, baller like that. Uh, that being said, how about we move it into the actual game real quick. So, start up the game here. And, uh, gonna do a quick little benchmark test. We'll see just how much it's slowing down my computer. I'm guessing it's not a lot. So when I typically do this benchmark test, I get like 120 frames per second, 115 frames per second, on average, right? It'll probably be anywhere between 110 and 120. There it is. 111. Rank A. Ultra Street Fighter 4 works perfectly on this machine while I'm recording with a webcam at 5,000 kilobits per second. Uh, myth busted. So for the third point, we're going to bring it on a slightly more personal level. Uh, our match in question. Now, while I will not doubt that there was some lag in the match, I can tell you that I was not generating it on purpose. Um, like I said, sometimes connections just aren't that great. So, I can tell you that if you have a B rank main character at 3,000 battle points, that means that you've lost so much, you've gone from 5,000 down 2,000 battle points, right? Now, I'm guessing the majority of those you blamed on lag, or some sort of lag switcher. I can tell you that the majority of the games that I play, despite the Steam Net code, it's not that bad. It really isn't. Is it better than offline? Absolutely not. Offline rules, right? It's, it's where it's at. That being said, you probably didn't lose every single one of those matches on lag. You probably missed an input, or fucked up. And you just decided to blame it on lag. Well, let's bring it into the game anyway. So, one of the points you made during the fight is that uh, I got away with a lot of bullshit that I shouldn't have gotten away with. And that they need to take focus attacks out of the game. Um, I've seen you play before. I've seen videos of your game play before. And I'm seeing it right now. The majority of what you do are pizanchos and sweeps. Two moves that hit once don't break armor, and they have a very long recovery. Why the fuck wouldn't I use a focus attack against that? Am I supposed to let you get away with just using these moves over and over and over again? No. I blow that shit up. That's how you win. You blow shit up. So, again, like I said, I get that the, la that the fight was a little laggy, right? Understood. That doesn't give you the right to start accusing people of being some sort of lag switcher or cheater or hacker of some sort. Uh, and especially blaming it on recording the game while you're playing? Come on, man. The second point. Akuma's Raging Demon is a 1 plus 0 frame grab. Which means that if you're not already jumping at the Super Flash like you weren't, 
proven right there, that means you're going to get grabbed. If you do not understand this concept, I don't know what to tell you, right? You very clearly weren't holding up until after I activated the demon and I was point blank next to you. If you don't get what a zero frame grab is, I can't help you with that. Do some research. I'm sure Event Hubs has a great article on it. Uh, more on my own personal level. Uh, definitely got some more montages coming up. As I go through this list, you'll see a U1 or an S1, S2, U2. It just, that's to tell me whether or not it's an ultra or a super that I thought was impressive during the fight. And what round it is, it just helps me find it for later. And, uh, as you can see, the list is substantially long. Uh, I have more than enough for probably about two or three more demon montages. I'm sure I'll clean it up and really just save it for the really good demons and not try and uh, overload the video. Anyway, said everything I need to be, uh, really wanted to get off my chest about this, and uh, Damien, or whatever your actual name is, uh, good luck in getting better at the game. I'm rooting for you.